didn't believe you. I also, uh, you don't have like those pimples that show up literally overnight. I have one on my mouth. No. Mm-hmm. Boo. I know, but I could put one of the things on it. I need to go put toner on. We got this super fun out of nowhere package. Oh my from gosh. It gets yeah. better yesterday. And one of the things that they sent us was uh, this like really pretty bottle of like toner. It's the most skin. beautiful bottle I've and ever it's glass. seen. It's glass. It's like rainbowy. Yeah. It's bonkers. Did you post on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to use it today. So I washed my face in the shower just now. And then I need to use the toner and the moisturizer. The CPAP is horrible. It's awful. I'm, I'm glad that other people love theirs after some time. And I hope that I love ours. I love mine eventually. But I hate it so much right now. Well, it makes it worse when you feel sick. Yes. So that's pro- – it's not that you've been <clears throat> having, like, a terrible time using it. It's that with a sore throat, it's really brutal to continually have air shoved into your mouth. It's – Like, that's the problem. Good Isn't for that you. wild? Pinless, they put the factory in your home? They did. Well, that's so nice of them. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, it, it is awful. I don't understand how people eventually get used to it after a few weeks. I've had mine for like three weeks now. And I'm still not used to it at all. It's way better than it was the first week. Because yeah. I didn't sleep literally hardly at all then. And I am, like, sleeping. Um, I really like my new water bottle. I put some stickers on it. It'll be really cute in Disneyland. Morgan's a water bottle girly. I am. Michael, we never have been to a peach farm. <laughs> That's never happened. We did used to, twice in our lives, I think, go to this place that had a big peach in front of it. It was between Mobile and Panama City. It was just like a stand, though. I guess maybe it was a farm. That's farm adjacent. It was like it was like a really huge, like... It was very similar to the orange in Florida. Peaches don't exist. I have no idea what the name of it was. Um, the lady said to wear it when you're, I did see the video of the person to say, that said wear it when you're watching TV. And I was like, thanks so much for the advice. Because I wasn't going to be like, I actually don't just watch TV. Hardly ever. Um, I'm usually like cleaning our house while I watch TV or folding dishes, or folding dishes, folding laundry. You do sleep with it on now. Like you have slept for like a solid seven hours with it on. Twice I've done that. Yeah. And you don't hate it as much as you did. That is true. Like, you were like, I'm going to scream, this is awful, I can't sleep at all. Like, it really has gotten better. It has gotten better. It's not normal yet. It's not good. It's not normal, comfy, cute yet. Mm -mm. Right. I, you know, I have hope hope that it will be fine eventually, but I hate it so much still. Sometimes you have to fold the dishes. Listen, I'm very busy. Maybe they're no. soft dishes. You don't know. Exactly, Kay. You got no idea. I normally sleep with the pillows basically on my face. Now, one thing that I have noticed is that when Morgan has her little elephant trunk on, she can just toot up a storm, and she's receiving none of the consequences of that. I have to breathe in the toots, and she breathes in fresh air. It's not fresh. From a robot. <coughs> The gas is going right through me. No. Here's the thing, though. Like, it's... I literally just, like, rip it off in the night because I feel like I'm suffocating. And when I see my doctor, I'm going to be like, here's what I need you to know about my setup before this. Is that we sleep with our room as cold as possible. And I quite literally mean, like, 60 degrees. Not literally. You can't get our house that cold. Not in the winter, you can. Okay. Um, It's like 65. Like... Pressure versus toots. I need it so cold. And the CPAP, the temperature on it says 60 degrees. That is not true at all. I didn't name it because I hate it. It doesn't deserve a name. It's a protein bar, Gemini. 
It's a crunch protein energy bar. Phoebe's been, they're really, really good. They're crumbly. They're like wafery. So Phoebe's been freezing them? Well, I, to people on the internet told me to freeze them. And they're less crumbly if you freeze them. They're delicious. They're super, super tasty, and I'm just like terrible at eating food uh, at a lot of the times, but especially like in the morning or if I'm busy doing something else. So the premise is not that I'm trying to be like stressful and like eat these instead of meals. The premise is like, I have ADHD, you know. That's how I feel, pun load. Sludge me. Is that what you want? Give me sludge. That's a smoothie. <coughs> that is just a smoothie. <coughs> I just don't like protein bars. I love food. You hate food. Mm, I like some food. The effort that it takes to make or get the food that I'm excited about is not worth it to me. Um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, you're right, Pentlos. Yeah, I've never been a nutrition or a protein worker really because I love food too much. Listen, I hear you guys talking about the effort, okay? I simply spend all my money on food prepared for me. That's it. Now you make your husband do that. Yeah. Typically, I'm a savory person. Anytime there's salt, I'm fucking ready for it. This is sweet, though. This is like a strawberry bar. These are pretty good. They're very sweet, I would say. What's the brand? Yes, Power Crunch. Mm. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I just bit my tongue so hard. Y'all ever bite your tongue so hard that you think you bit it off because you're like, that's numb now? It's still there. How'd you bite your tongue? Is it bleeding? Tongue? Um, no. Well, yeah. A little. Don't lie to me. It's hard to tell. Don't lie. It looks like it's bleeding. It is bleeding. That's so bad. How'd you do that? I was just chewing too much. <clears throat> Sometimes my teeth get so excited they just fly out of place. It didn't hurt. It immediately went numb, which was great. Good job, tongue. That's your job. Normally it hurts a lot. Method acting for playing Edward Cullen. Stop Perfect. it. Get out of here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my <clears throat> so bad. Did you want to tell everyone your idea for today? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The premise is ultimate childhood crush. Oh. So we're going to make a thing on Canva. And we're going to do polls on stream. And we're going to figure out the ultimate childhood crush. What we first need, obviously, are the, yes, a bracket. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am, I'm looking for sort of like vaguely unhinged ones. Anything boondoggle. I think obviously like Simba from The Lion King has to be on this. And that's like the kind of energy we're going for. Unhinged. I also had a crush on Rick Moranis. <clears throat> Danny Phantom I think is also excellent. Hold on. Danny Phantom is amazing. Danny Phantom's a good answer. Did you add the alerts to this? What? Did you add the alerts? Oh, yeah. No. See, look how it's right there. Are they there. going? Yeah. See, it just said code subscribe. <clears throat> I know, but I didn't hear it is what I'm saying. Okay, hold on. I do think, I'm so sorry. I know that there's many more than two genders, but I think that we need to do this into the categories of boy and girl because I don't think it's fair to have Shigo versus Max Goof. Yeah. Like, that isn't fair. For a bunch of reasons. Max is a good one. The women are going to sweep the floor. And so we want to do not that. <clears throat> I love the orange doodle bop. Wait, no, no, no. You need the one of him where he's dressed as power line. Okay, all right. That's him when he's like a baby. This we want one? him as like a kid. Yeah. She go non-binary queen. No, and you're right. Beret girl from Extremely Goofy Movie is also a good one. This is going to be kind of hard. Yeah. The smallness of them I wasn't expecting. Okay. Simba. Oh, I need like, yeah. That one live action Peter Pan movie? Yeah. Copy image. I was never a Simba yeah. girly. I was a Kovu girly. 
That's fair. Okay, hold on. <coughs> well, yeah, we're doing boys We're doing right boys now. right now. I'm so sorry. We're doing boys. <clears throat> and we'll come back around, I promise. Sexy ponies for Fantasia. Condolore. <laughs> okay. Oh, Danny Phantom was the other one. Oh, yeah, Danny Phantom's a good one. Um, JD from Scrubs, I feel like, is a good one. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Pinty again. Like is a good one. movie. All fictional crushes. What do you mean? Um, no. Tell us who you had a crush on in the fourth grade. Was it Tommy Sanders? Are you saying Thomas Sanders? I was just trying to think of a normal kid name. Oh, you don't mean the guy from Vine. Who's Vine? Vine. Oh, that makes more sense. You love him. Yeah, Thomas, Thomas Sanders. Sanders. I was trying to think of a normal kid name. Oh, okay. Aladdin. Aladdin's good. Can we have both Simba and Kovu? Is that fucky or no? I see you can't spell Aladdin. You can't spell a lot of things, love. I can life. spell Aladdin's name for he is my husband. Boondoggles, I didn't want you to say Peter. Peter Peen. We can include Kovu. But they shouldn't go against each other in the first round. Okay, all right. We'll do Kovu. We'll throw Kovu in there. James Rode? Oh, see? I get it. Yeah, that's fair. Who is James Rode? Kovu is so cute. How are you going to be able to keep up with which one's which? What do you mean? Are you going to write their names also? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. We're just trying to get photos over here. Sean from Psych is also good. Oh, that's a really good one. My childhood best friend was in love with Mufasa. <laughs> yeah. Some issues to work out, I see. Sean from Psych, yes. <laughs> I was honestly, I had a huge crush on him and Gus. Yeah, oh my god, I had the biggest crush on Gus. Oh, oh Milo, Milo from, from Atlantis. Atlantis is really good. I already said JD. They just didn't put it on there. Do other people feel like JD is reasonable? They don't feel like it's enough of a classic. Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. Ryder Strong is his name. I would Google him all the time and be like, Roder Ryder Strong kissing. What is happening right now? Thank you. Kissing who? Anyone. Wish it was me. This is cute that they're making the same face. I didn't do that on purpose. We'll do this one. Y'all remember, remember the episode where you see, like, Sean's dad and, like, how bad his life is? He's, like, literally, like, traumatized. What's happening right now? Phil from Phil the Future is also a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Mulder? I didn't see enough X-Files as a kid. I've seen it as an adult. Flynn Rider? Hey, I was in high school when that movie came out. Yeah. Casper the Friendly Ghost. That's the second person to say Casper. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. I was not having fluttery feelings about Casper the Friendly Ghost. What? Yeah, the one that he did with Lizzie McGuire, especially. We're doing ladies next. Yes. We're doing them fully separate. We're doing boys right now. Sorry. Sorry about that. There's more than two genders, but for the purpose of television in the early 2000s, there was only two genders. As we all know, there weren't more genders until after that. Right. Please don't cool will sucks me. <laughs> hey, 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 Krista. Hey, hey. Pipe down. <laughs> okay, hold on. There was one that I got distracted from. Oh, Link is fair. Thackeray Binks is a good one. Jim from Treasure Planet? But what we need is Link uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. That's how he looked. And I'm sorry about it. What are you doing, Canva? Is it just too many images, girly? Like, what's your dealio? Chandler from Friends is not a bad one, but I feel like that's like a normal adult man crush. I think that's the thing. That's why I'm not including Gus from Psych. 
because he's so sexy. I have real grown-up feelings about Gus. Yes, I want someone that I only had a crush on really as a kid. Sean, absolutely the fuck not as an adult. Am I into that man? Yeah. I mean, I think he's handsome. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I yeah. would be like, yeah, we have to pay bills, Sean. Yes, Sean. You have you know to I mean? clean your room, Sean. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's a child. Yeah. Like, if we're including human people, artist man from Iron Giant? Who do you mean? Jesse from Gilmore Girls? <laughs> Co, I, mean, I don't even remember there being an artist in this movie. Co, this is saying something about you. See, we're naming people who are still hot. <laughs> who is Hal this man? from House Moving Castle is valid. Who is Michael Wesson? I'm not including this douchebag from the Iron Giant. There's no way this man is a nice man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Incredible. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. I would say Max was honestly my biggest one of this whole list. I had a huge crush on Max. Uh, 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 uh. Andy Brinker from Brink. What is Brink? I have no is idea. Is it a what British is, show? Baby. What are you guys talking about? Was he a good man? Co, that's fair. I haven't seen Iron Giant in a long time. It's so sad. Oh, Dimitri from Anastasia. Is that who we're saying? Oh, uh, that's a good one. No, that's super valid. No one understands. Brink, the Disney yeah. Channel original movie. I've never heard of this. Did it come out after 2005? Is this a young person movie? Is it for the youth? Shank, Shank from, from Mulan. Mulan's a great one. Nineteen ninety-eight. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Basil from the Great Mouse Detective is a great answer. Hold on. <laughs> I love Basil so much. We gotta keep the titties in this. Jim from Pl Treasure Planet is exactly like Dimitri, though. And also like Milo. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about Treasure Planet. Like, how many of y'all saw Treasure Planet? You've never seen it, right? Back it up, Hale. Who is the hot fish from Finding Nemo? Oh my god, people love him. The scar one. No! Yeah. Shut up! I never had feelings no for him. No fucking way. You guys, Gil, you guys Not have Gil. horrible daddy issues. No. <laughs> you guys... Not even, you guys have horrible, like, weird Jail. uncle issues. Yeah, what the fuck? He's not hot. No. Is he voiced by Willem Dafoe? No, he is not. No. No. Gil's not hot. It's not his energy. No. His energy is of a man who wants to escape prison. Go to therapy. What do you mean his energy? No. Say Stuart Little. Respectfully, you are all bottoms. Yeah. Disrespectfully, you are all bottoms. They're and gonna, I'm happy for you. Coolsville sucks you. But Jesus Christ. Oh, could you put Gregory House? Very normal crush, I think. No, boo. Okay, hold on. Evolution forever. Okay, hold on. Who <laughs> who are we talking about before? Shang, I feel like there was a good one. Oh, Corbin Blue is a good one. Oh, Corbin Blue's a really good one. Please do house from house. A bunch of people are saying house I'm from house. I'm not doing house from house. <laughs> Y'all should not have been watching that. Oh my god. Mask guy from Sailor Moon is fair. Anakin Skywalker. Paste. Anakin Skywalker is embarrassing. I'm trying to decide if I'll allow it. What? No, he's really cute. He is. He's just... Jonathan Taylor Thomas is also a good one. I don't know who that is. He was, I know him from Home Improvement. Oh, 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 Basil from The Great Mouse Detective. Oh, yes, Basil. Oh, and Zuko. Those should be the last two. Okay. I cannot believe we haven't said Zuko before now. Yeah, it's true. I'm surprised you horn dog lasted this long. Okay, I'm gonna go use my new toner. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. Are you okay? 
It's just my legs. I'm just falling apart at the seams here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got Basil, Great Mouse Detective, and then Zuko. We won't no, baby, I'm gonna type in all their names. You silly, silly woman. I'm doing long hair, Zuko. Because that's who I thought was sexy. Because he looks like a lesbian. Okay. Everybody cool down for a moment. I gotta take the time to type these. Oh, that's so funny about the spoiler thing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, David from Lilo and Stitch is a really good one. No spoilers. Don't you dare spoil this bracket. <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn it off. <clears throat> we'll disable that for this moment. Okay. Let me type these guys out. Perfect. All right. Excuse me. Pardon me. We've got Max Goof. Oh, can I? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Simba. Danny Phantom. And then we'll see if I can spell Aladdin, because I don't think I can. Is it A-L-A-D-I-N? Yes. Kovu. And we'll start, get out of here. We'll do polls individually per thingy. Kovu. Oh no, did I miss one? Do we have one space left? <laughs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. Everyone said Max Goof as they should. Did I delete someone? Kovu twice on accident. We'll do David from. No, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, it's Sean like this, right? How do they spell Sean from Psych? Milo, Casper. Link. Now, when we vote on Casper and Link, I need you to think of Ocarina of Time Link. It's very important to me. We're not talking about current hot Link. That's not who we're, who's he in a part of this. How? Dimitri. Shang. I'm just saying literally Corbin Blue because that's true. He was a figure at the time. He's the only like actual person and that I think is valid. Basil. And then Zuko. Baby, we're missing one. Huh? We're missing one. Do you think people are saying uh, David from Lilo and Stitch? Ooh, yes. I love mm, David. Mm, mm, mm. He's so handsome. Okay, so the toner much slimier than other toner I've used. Oh yeah? Yeah, it says cucumber and watermelon. Think of just rubbing a cucumber on your face. <laughs> it's got a lot of slime to it. Okay. Which is not a crime, but it is surprising to yeah, you. Yeah, not what I expected. Okay. Amazing. All right. David. Okay. Now. Time for the polls, nerds. No. Boo. Gil. No Gil. Gil. No Gil. Gil's not allowed. Stop saying Gil girls. You horny little monsters. Okay. Yeehaw. Okay. 
right now we're doing Max Goof versus Simba, and it's only a two minute poll. The way that polls work, if you're on your phone and you're new to Twitch, is that you have to like click into the chat so that it'll pop up or go away. So don't be scared. So I'm gonna start it now. The poll is started. You're right, Boondoggles. Go ahead. It is a, it is a tough one. Wait, we get to vote. Vote for Max. <laughs> a vote for Max is a vote for the winner. <laughs> That's what they say. You, you you can't try to try to you know do the thingy. A the dog, dog versus, versus a cat. cat. <laughs> Honestly, it would be insane if Max didn't win. But I support whosoever wins. Whoever the people choose. Yeah. We're here for the people's the yeah. people's choice. We're the we're here for the people's princess. Mm-hmm. I have a prediction for the overall winner. I won't tell anyone. Oh, just me. No. Oh, we can zoom in on the photos. That's a great idea, Stefan. Thank you. Um, how do I zoom on here? Just pull them up on the side. No. I have these. Oh, okay, zoom down there. Yeah. There we go. Big brain. Thank you, Seven. Love that it's closer than expected. This is the most I think we've ever had people vote in a poll. Yeah. No, that's true. Then, Les, the pizza's kind of the best part. That's so not true. It's a really good movie. Mm -hmm. It's an excellent film. The Goofy movies are a really good film. Both of them, actually. I really liked Extremely Goofy Movie, too. Oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, who's Aaron Samuels? Aaron Samuels from Mean Girls? Is that who Aaron Samuels is? Polter Page, welcome. Thank you for I being here. I forget when we do things like this that I am 30 years old and people in chat aren't. Because I'll be like, that movie came out no. so late. It came out in 2004. No, that's true, but I didn't see it when it came out. All right. I'm hearing Because I was in the fourth grade. That's about you being young, no, though. No, that's true. Which is George Strait. That's so fair. <laughs> That's so fair. Okay, Max Goof has won. Max is the winner. We'll just do... Oops. Uh, can we just do like a background guy on this? Perfect. Okay, Max has won. Now we are doing Danny Phantom versus Aladdin. Daddy issues versus immature boy issues? Uh... You can just copy paste press press brackets. You don't have to type it each time. Danny Phantom Aladdin. I just assumed it was gonna keep it. Okay, poll now. Okay, vote for Aladdin. Yeah? Yeah. I'm voting for Danny Phantom. Sorry. Get out your phone if you want to vote. Oh, that's true. I forgot I have a phone. Gotta get your moxies, Danny Phantom. Gotta get your moxies, Danny Phantom. Gotta get your moxies. Did you need to check in security first? Oh, it's too late for that, but thank you. Far too late for that. Yeah, that's fair, baby. That's absolutely fair. Yo, this is a close one. This is gonna be hard. This is a close one, and I'm sure that Aladdin is much more well known than Danny Phantom. But I'm sure the people who've seen Danny Phantom are all voting for Danny No, Phantom. and, like, I really like Danny Phantom. But Come the on, one who gave me more of a crotch headache was definitely Aladdin. Wow. Wow. That's a sentence. Aladdin does have beautiful eyebrows. Pancake jump scare! Well, Danny Phantom was just 14. Aladdin's a whole man. He could steal you some bread. We were eight, y'all. We were eight years old. It's okay that he was 14. This is the sillies. Designed to view a world unseen. No, but when you're a kid, you have a crush on, you know, the older, sexier one. Right, someone who could provide. Aladdin's top surgery was on fleek. Oh, my God. Um, so true, bestie. She thought we said her name. We did not. We said Alexa. Aladdin. That time, no? What a weird girly. She hates you, so... 
She literally famously hates you. I guess. He was the older, sexier one to me. Yeah. And he, he could sing. sing. He could sing. He could sing. That's fair. Wow. Aladdin just, like, absolutely nailed that. Okay. Oh, this will be hard. Kovu actually. and David. Who? Fuck. I have no idea who's going to win this one. Hmm. I'm sorry, babies. I'm so sorry. This is a hard one. Furries versus humans, let's go! Wow. Right out the bat. <laughs> Hi, Will of the Wisp. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> childhood crush bracket right now i'm sorry i'm sorry to the furries i love and support you i'm so sorry listen it's obvious that david is sweeping this but i do think that it's important to say that like it is a difficult decision even if you're not a furry this is a hard pick you know i was only a furry when i was 12 it do be like honestly that. that's fair it do be like that david was perfect for nani he was like, I totally get what you're, you know, how you're independent and you're doing your own thing. He's so soft. But I'm going to help when I can. He's so He's soft. so supportive. He's so soft. Yeah. I don't feel like he was too pushy. No. Mm -mm. I feel like he was appropriately pushy. Yeah. Absolutely. Fancy hair. He did. He did have nice hair. He had that little, like, Leo DiCaprio vibe going. I loved his voice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think it's obvious that David's winning that one. Sorry to call it before it happens, but here we are. This is the next one. This is also a hard one. These men have surprisingly similar energy. Yeah. And a nice butt. No, that's true. That's true, and, and that's why I understand the, those of us who are standing by Kovu. He like, is that's a rebel fair. with family trauma, and I get it. She thinks it's fancy. <laughs> If you've never watched Psych, it's something you could obsess over, like when you're trying to distract yourself distract from yourself. Else. Yeah, it's a good show. I never saw any of those movies. <laughs> the non-cartoon guy is um from from Psych. Oops. Sure. This will be a hard one. I, I don't think it's going to be a hard one. I have a feeling I know how folks are going to vote with this one. It's a hard one for me. Yeah. Yeah, this is obvious. Who is that white man? Yeah, he's pretending to be a psychic, but actually he he's, just probably has autism. I was going to say he's probably autistic. But he has autism in a way that they decided... Love. He also sexy. works for the cops. He does, yeah. yeah. He's literally a cop almost. Yeah. It's almost like you can't see the future. Milo is gender envy. He has autism powers. He does, yeah. It's really from like family trauma, though. Yeehaw. Can you turn up the sound? I can't hear the yeehaws. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you? It's because they're on the headset. Which yeah, that's you want? what they're supposed Yeehaw. to be. Yeehaw. You just want it louder? Yes. Okay. Is Thank that, you. Okay. I want that white man. Why do I think it was Phil of the Future? <laughs> hey, Sean this... has seven votes. This is not surprising to me. Morgan said this one's so hard. It's hard for me personally. Oh my god. I also love Michael J. Fox's voice. I always have. Any voice, anyone he's ever voiced? Oh my, so god. Phil is better than Sean, but both future stuff, so not future, but like. Yeah, one can see the future. And one one is from the future. The one has seen the future. Yeah. One is pretending that he can see the future. Yeah. I think that's fair. Sean's a cop. I have to stick by ACAB. Yes. Milo, if you're into it, hit me up. Oh, my so god. <laughs> oh, my <clears throat> god. 
god. Listen, I'm voting based on how I felt as a child. That's fair. That's fair. I wanted to be Milo. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Catherine be like the little boy's bracket. Listen. No, Milo's not a Kyle on it. That's the whole thing. Have you seen Have it? you seen the film? Have you seen it recently? Because I will say, Milo's whole thing is that he's like, I'm here to love and appreciate. He's like, I literally thought this was gone. This is crazy. And then he's like, what can we do to help your, like, you know, city thrive? Yeah. And then the people he's, he brought Kyle on colonizers. Yeah, unfortunately, he's associating with colonizers. He did. He says, fuck the colonizers. Yeah, literally. Did you see the end of the film? Okay. Casper. Milo's flirting with white saviorism. I'll hear that. That's fair. I'm hearing that. This is easy because I didn't play these games. I'm very curious to see how this goes. Oh, wow. Okay. I hear that, I see that, but he is still better than Sean. No, I think that's true. Wow. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Yeah, Casper's adorable. All right. Human Casper was a heartthrob. Before he was human, though, he was so nice. He was like, yeah, it sucks being a ghost. And he also, he didn't pick on the humans. He was like, sorry. Sorry, I'm oh, haunting your house. Oh, that's fair. The chemistry? Yeah. That's that's fair, Victoria. I wanted to be this link. I think I was having gender envy specifically, I think is what it is. Party animal even in death. Oh, my so god. Yeah, he kisses like I this. feel like it's unexpected. Wild. Human Casper reveal was shocking. I thought he was so hot. Pull up a picture of him. I think that's a thing. I'm sure he just looks like a little string vein. Human Casper? I don't know what this is. I, I also didn't watch... Oops. Not movie, buddy. Oh, this kid? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot it was Christina Ricci in the first one. This yeah, is he, Human he, Casper. He just looks like a regular one. This is just some eight-year-old. And I, I was like, him. damn. He's so hot. That's so funny. Yeehaw. Devin Sawa? I don't know him. I don't either. All right. Ghost Rider, the kids show? I certainly did not see that film. <laughs> okay. Howl and Dimitri. Ooh. This is actually fucking brutal. You didn't watch Anastasia as a kid. No, that's true. That's true. Which is insane because it was made for you. Thanks for the hype train, everyone. Holy crap. Yeah, wow. Thanks, friends. This is rough, team. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I didn't see Howl until I was like 15. That's true. I didn't see Howl's Moving Castle until I was an adult. Oh, no. I saw it as a kid for sure. Yo, oh my god. This is a rough one. This is so close. Wow. How is hot with a complete man child? But when you are a child, no, yourself, it's when you're the child, though. <clears throat> no, you can vote however. If you want to oh, vote oh, for Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Vote for however you're voting. Yeah, this is fucking John Cusack or whoever is Dimitri. Yeah. Voice. Both terrible boys. This is so close. I love how many people didn't see the Ghibli movies as a kid. Because I thought I was the only one. Oh, yeah, no. If you had parents who were nerds, then you saw them. Dimitri's literally gaslight gatekeep girl bossing. There's no way he's better than Hal. It's so true. <coughs> Hal is soft. But he doesn't take the money in the end. He's an idiot, but he's soft. Ooh, y'all have like maybe 20 seconds left. No, more than that. Phoebe, do you see how it's only a little less than halfway? I would say 30 seconds. Okay. 
I heard we're voting <laughs> on hot people. Welcome, Dwight. Drake, this is literally your specialty. It is. It's so close. That's fair, Ew. Veronica. It's also oh my it's also my wife's uh, type. Wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was the area. Maybe it's just because in Alabama people didn't really watch them. I was super into Hello Kitty, but like we didn't have like a Hello Kitty TV show or like I didn't watch anything like that. Wow. How's out? Wow. That w is shocking to me personally. That is shocking to me, and I do support it. Okay, this one's kind oh. of insane. I also want to be really clear. This is not the boy from High School Musical. This is literally Corbin Blue. Because I feel like like I didn't know any celebrities' names as a child, but I knew Corbin Blue. That's true. Well, his name was Corbin. I feel like they had him on like every, um, like in between. He was just like constantly he interviewing was, he was or being working. interviewed. Yeah, he yeah, stayed yeah, working. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. On Disney Channel. I don't know. I felt like Shane was kind of an asshole. I never really had a big crush on him. I think that's fair. I had a crush on him a lot. <laughs> no, that doesn't track. Shane, bisexual king. Maybe you want to become a professional jump rope. No, rubber. literally. Especially in High School Musical 2. <laughs> Dwight, I love that. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think it probably is. High School Musical 2 is a perfect sequel. It's so good. Shang Sweep. Damn. Whoa, <laughs> romantically double dutch. The baseball outfit switch. So, like, listen, the the chemistry. I was gonna say the chemistry between what's his name in that movie? It's not like Jake, but it's something like that. I it's literally like don't know. Name. Mm. What is his name? No, Ryan is not. Ryan is Sharpay's brother. Yeah. Chad. Is it Chad? Yes. Is his name Chad? No, it's not. Chad and Ryan are flirting the whole fucking movie. That's absurd. That's absurd. Wow, okay, yeah, Shang, Shang really took it. Chad is so funny. Chad Danforth, you're right. They do switch outfits in the end. Is Chad Danforth, I don't think Chad Danforth is his name. I think that's just a person. No. Hmm. Hmm. No, they really are, okay? You're Have so Have y'all seen right. the interview where the person who plays Ryan, whose name I can't think of right now, um, says, like, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that Ryan is, like, queer-coded, and, like, I think if they made it today, like, while I would love to be him still, like, they should hire an actual gay person to do it. Yeah. Which is insane, because I definitely thought he was gay. But... I thought he was gay. But I thought it was nice that he was like, I'm not. Sorry, team. He said, I'm just acting. Lucas Gravel. Gravel. I always said Gray Beetle. Gray Mouse Detective wouldn't fit. No. And I'm happy for all the Zuko girlies, but I need you to know that I'll be putting respect on my man Basil's Basel, name. Okay. And I need you to know he's just definitely not going to win. No, Zuko's going to win, but I will be voting for my man Basil. Hey, you are struggling to say I your am. man's name. Yeah, I watched Avatar a lot as a young kid for, like, one summer. When it was new, I watched it a lot, and then I haven't really seen it since. Now, Basil is doing better than I thought he would. Yeah, Basil's hot. <coughs> I just wanted to put up a good fight. <laughs> yeah, Cam from Modern Family is not gay. Yeah, isn't that wild? But I love him so much. Though. Jesse, what's care. his face is, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original E-boy. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Have y'all seen the, there was a TikTok that was like, who's more dramatic? Is it Hal literally melting after he accidentally dyes his hair the wrong color or Zuko who falls ill after doing one nice task? Hold on. Korra and Bolin? I didn't watch Legend of Korra. Oh, rough. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. CPAP doesn't want to pay us. Oh, no. Get out of here. Sometimes you dye your hair the wrong color and melt. Sometimes that happens. It's hard out here. That's rough, buddy. So, yeah, they want us to have a discount code oh. for the CPAP thing. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, makes sense. Let's go. Okay. We got Max. We got Aladdin. We got David, we got Milo, Casper, <laughs> Dimitri, this is so unhinged, Shang, and then Zuko, and then let me, <laughs> we do everything in Canva. I don't know how else you'd do it. I feel like it'd be hard to do otherwise. Should I copy over the... Mm -hmm. We'll do this also just so folks can see it as we're doing it. David. Milo. Because I want us to be able to look hey, at Hey, Will of the Wisp, I hate to tell you this, Scar is not the OG lion crush. You have daddy <laughs> issues. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, Zuko. Stop, okay. stop saying you're so right. Don't have a crush on Scar. Stop having a crush on He's Scar. He's literally ugly. <laughs> we need to do a lion's only bracket. No. No. Yeah, Kobu was one of our original options. He did not win. No, he did not. Okay. This is, I have no idea how this is This is going to be absurd. Okay, I'm starting the poll now. I guess, is Scar queer-coded? I feel like Hades is the first person I I feel like Scar's a little bit queer-coded. Queer -coded. I definitely think he is. Yeah, he is. He's a bitchy old queen, and we love it's that. It's literally fifty-fifty. If you cannot see the poll, it is most likely like if you're on your phone, you just need to click in and click out of the chat again, basically. No, Max has to win. No. Ooh. It's not looking good for my boy Max. No. Oh, M. <laughs> Oh no! He would be. He would be. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't believe people are voting for Aladdin over Max. I do feel like Aladdin was a much more popular film. Hey! I also used to dream of going to college and meeting Max as a kid. That's so funny. That's so, Aladdin stole my heart like a loaf of bread. <laughs> a goofy movie didn't reach Ireland. <laughs> oh my God. My phone is suppressing my vote. <laughs> oh my God, no, Crown, that's so fair, baby. College equals so much canned cheese. <laughs> this is so fair. Hey, Max also sings. Kind That's, of. Well, 
Just like a little. Let's not be too hasty. <laughs> Max is a cosplayer. He also, he tries to freaking, he was like, I casually skateboard. And then he was like, I guess I'll enter the X Games. Bold of him. <laughs> He's an insane man. Okay. David and Milo, y'all. I'm, I'm sad, but I think I know how this is going. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, mine says just David. Oops. What happened? Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, that's so weird. Sorry, all David. There we go. Come on. Come on, Milo. Pull through. It I'm is hard. I'm so sorry. It's only going to get harder. I'm so sorry. Can y'all only see David, some of you? It showed up for a second on mine as only having David. Max, was he there for real? Oh my god, so true. But now it should have both. <sighs> is Twitch committing voter fraud right now? Someone's hacking into the mainframe. Someone says only David. Nerdy, flirty, and fun. Milo. Milo has a degree. He's got glasses. Listen. David is such a soft, soft man. In all Link's tournament. Obviously, it would be Breath of the Wild. Link who wins. Well, probably actually be Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, isn't Jake Novak bald, though? I can't picture him now. I don't think his chin is that square. No, he's also not that handsome. You are being so mean to okay, Jake Novak. No, I'm being, You're being nice to Milo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if I was an adult picking, I would pick David probably. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm Baldness is not a crime. No, but look at Milo's head of hair. You're right, Seven. We just love a smarty. Listen. All right, okay. It was close. He's not a colonizer. He did bring colonizers there. Unfortunately, he was too stupid to realize that they were colonizers. Yeah, he was too stupid to realize his friends were colonizers. And then he was like, shit. Actually, at the end of the movie, it's not his friends, because they're all like, no, you're right, we should leave them alone. Yeah, that's true. It's just that one man who has all the money. Okay, this one's insane. I feel like we know how this is going to go. I'm going to put this one on one minute. We're only doing one minute polls from here on out. Rip, David. He was the real one. How is this the hardest one? He was tricked. They were gaslighting the shit out of him. Yeah. They were like, yeah, we just want to, like, give them resources. <laughs> Seven, why are you afraid of Casper? <laughs> He's just a circle. <laughs> Seven, I hate to tell you this. That's exactly oh what you look like. Oh, my God. Just small. He's a ghost. I'm sorry. Seven was He's only the friendly ghost. He, seven was only two pounds, two that ounces. Is a dead boy. And Casper is a ghost and weighs more than that. I'm sure. I don't think he's so. Oh my so god. <laughs> oh no. Sounds it's important. You gotta click it. Okay, Dimitri. Was there a cartoon Casper? I thought there's only live action. What? Yeah, the original Casper is a cartoon. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the remake. Okay, Dimitri Shang and Zuko. A scam artist and a cr this is so hard. This is the real hardest one. <sighs> okay. It's only a 60 second poll. We're starting it now. Shang and Zuko. I don't know. This is rough. I don't know. This is so hard. Wow. I'm wow. going with how I felt as a child. Okay. Shang's boobs are out. Also easy. Hi, Kyle. Shang's <laughs> That's true. Zuko was not a misogynist. Damn. Damn. 
Zuko wasn't a misogynist. He was a whiny little baby. Yeah. I do think that that's relevant. Zuko was a war criminal. Yeah, yeah. He literally tried to genocide people. This is true. This is true. I'm surprised. Equal opportunity, asshole. I get that there was a redemption arc, but genocide. <laughs> he was also 14. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to be 14. Mm, okay. All right, kids. It's Aladdin. No, it's... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I got lost. Whew, that would have been scary. And Milo. And then Dimitri. And Shang. Hold on. Milo. This is kind of the same man. Wait, what happened here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting my babies to the tippy top. Oh my god. Okay. Aladdin. Aladdin, Aladdin, the same man. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, okay. They said, do you have eyes? They look so different. Okay, one minute, y'all. Also, one goes to a private college and teaches there. And one lives on the streets. I'm starting the poll. Now, Aladdin is brown. He's voiced by a white man. Also, it's, like, famously one of the worst, like, representational films, If right? you Google, like, Orientalism in media, like, Aladdin is, like, the number one. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that for you. One is definitely a nepotism, baby. Yeah. Abu scared me. <laughs> oh my god. Please, my boy Milo has to win. No, 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 no. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know if the live action Aladdin is any good. I like how he steals food. Wow. Wow. That was so close, y'all. I thought Milo was going to take it home. That was absolutely bonkers. Oh, did I not put their oh, names I again? I forgot to include Hercules. Listen, people weren't asking for it. No, but we definitely won't forget Meg, so. No, that's true. I absolutely, I thought Milo was going to win it all. This is Out of all the men who started, I would say Max Goof was my number one crush, and Milo was my second. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Next is Dimitri and Shang. I, I think sweet. I know who's going to win, but. Yeah, we should have put Kasim on there. That's who would have won. Oh my Except god. Except nobody's seen the film. Okay, 60 seconds. Are y'all ready? Go. Listen, I know who's gonna win, but I voted for my boy Dimitri. <laughs> Listen, Shang's rude! <laughs> He's mean. Mm. Dimitri? A little vampire. Nice. Does he lie a little? Yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. That's true, Dwig. Dimitri's literally a manipulator. He's from he's from Anastasia, which if you haven't seen, if you, you really haven't should seen, see. You should. It's it was good. made for gay people. It's good. He does have a gay panic. Almost so good. Okay. Yes, yeah, Shang is Donny Osmond, right? I have no idea. All right. It's Aladdin and Shang, which is so fair. Damn. This is really rough, y'all. Oh, 
Okay, and then I think for this poll, it's only 60 seconds. And I'll pet strikes again. And I think I'm going to add in one additional option that I don't think will win, but that the people wanted. Please don't do this. I have to know. I have to know. No, that's true. They both don't know how to wear shirts. Kill girls. <laughs> I hate it here. I thought it would be interesting to split the vote. I said, we'll see what happens. Listen. Okay, these are so close. Gil is from Finding Nemo. If you don't know, it's because you're a normal person. If you don't know, but it's because you're regular. In chat are horny. For a fish who has a big old missing fin and a scar. He on has his a face. scar. He's not the hot fish from Nemo. He's the weird uncle. He's not hot. He's not hot. He also doesn't wear a shirt. That's true. The daddy fish? No. Wow. My boy Aladdin pulling through. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now we know. It was Aladdin. It was Aladdin all along, babes. Let's do this. Okay, now we gotta do the girlies. I'm sorry, I know that there's more than two genders. I am not one of the two options, <coughs> unfortunately. The 17 Gil girls in chat, I love you. I, I love y'all. Veronica, I was literally gonna say Jasmine in the red outfit. That's fair, okay. Okay, Meg, for sure. Hold on, hold on. Oh, thanks, bot. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is a crime. Her cooter's out here. What were they thinking? I watched this and I was like, that's my favorite scene. Okay. Who else? Meg? Meg. Oh, wait, no, don't put her against Jasmine. Hold on. We gotta give her a fighting chance. Pink Power Ranger is one. Violet from Incredibles. Oh, everybody's going too fast. Arwen, not the cat. Shigo. We'll do Shigo against Jasmine. I think that that's actually fair. That's not fair. You're you're trying to pick ones that are just gonna that like she's gonna get no, ass kicked that's fine. by. That's fine. Roxanne from Goofy Movie is also a good one. Roxanne from Goofy Movie is a great one. Thank you so much, friends. You're too sweet. Kim Roxanne. from Power of Girls, I don't think would be on this poll. <laughs> That'll be a third gender non-conforming poll. Okay, Roxanne. Oh, what happened? You deleted her. I wasn't trying to delete her. Okay, Roxanne. Nala? Mm. Mm. Kim Possible. Allison Stoner and everything. Miss Honey. Velma. Obviously Velma. Velma's a good one. Wednesday Adams. We didn't have like a kid. Sh we didn't have a Wednesday when we were little. There was only the super old one. Yeah, the like original one. <coughs> You're choosing live action Velma? I think this is the one we all mean. No, I think that's fair. I'm just curious. Cindy Lou Who? Hey. Chell from El Dorado. Elizabeth Swan. I don't think it's fair to put... Okay, hold on. Elizabeth Swan can go with Roxanne. <laughs> Oh, the one with Christina Ricci. That's true. <clears throat> Haley from Stick It. I've never seen Stick It. I don't know what that is. J 
Jessica Rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It is really just obvious, like, the misogyny and sexualization of women compared to men when, <laughs> when choosing these options. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can spell. As we keep going. Violet from Incredibles? Was, I don't know that I never that's... had a crush on her. Are a lot of folks saying that? And also, who do we put her against? Because I can't do Violet from Incredibles versus Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. Like... Mrs. Incredible? No, but I didn't have a crush on her as a kid. I have a crush on her as an adult. Megara against Jessica Rabbit is a good one. That's fair. Maid Marian is also fair. Mag. We can do Meg and Jessica Rabbit, and then we can also do... It's going to um, be so hard, though. I love them both so much. Maid Marian and... Uh, Violet from Incredibles. Miss Piggy. Now, I love Miss Piggy. Did you really have a crush on her as a kid? Ow. Okay, who's the one Maid Marian? Yeah. I did have a crush on Maid Marian. Uh, Spinelli from Recess? This is valid. We should put Spinelli from Recess. We should do a gender nonconforming one. We should, yeah. Fruity gender. Let me make a list. Spinelli and him, yeah. Duchess from Aristocats? All right. Okay, all right. She was, she was really cute. I mean, I didn't really have a crush on Duchess. I did have a crush on Tom O'Malley. The robot for my life as a teenage robot has is a lot of... Jenny? Thing. Yes. People picking Anya's Jenny... Mom also. Yes. People picking Jenny from my life as a teenage robot... Do y'all really love that movie, Her? Because I think they made it just for you. Miss Bellum from Powerpuff Girls? The woman who has no face? Lola Bunny. I had a huge fucking crush on Lola Bunny. Sailor Moon's also a good one. This is insane. You can see the outline of her of her rabbit cooter. Yeah. Why did they make that? They made us gay. They Eliza did. Thornberry? You're lying. Hey. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> if Eliza Thornberry were a spy, she would be flower. You're not you did not have a crush on Eliza Thornberry. <laughs> Kita and Nani are good last ones. This is gonna be so hard. A lot of people are saying Arwen, but I feel like she looks like an old woman. You just didn't watch Lord of the Rings as a kid. No, that's true. I wanted to be Eliza Thornberry. And that yeah. is fair. Yeah. Kita and Kim Possible. Kita and Nani would be good. Abby from NCIS. I was more like in high school when NCIS was happening. Sailor Moon is also a big one. Oh, Sailor Moon. That was the one I wanted to choose. Sailor Moon or Sailor Jupiter? Can I not just copy the image? What's happening here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dexter's mom? You're lying. I don't think oh. I had a crush on any, any moms when I was a kid. I fucking love Sailor Moon. Okay, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get some, let me get my nuts. Okay. My nuts! Get my nuts! Okay, hold on, team. Oop, my bad. All right. We have Jasmine. Oh. Shigo. Wow. 
Roxanne. Elizabeth Swan. It might be two ends. Can you stop doing that, please? Mm, Chell. Velma. Jessica Rabbit. Megara. Violet. Maid Marion. Is it Maid Marion? Yeah. I've been thinking Maiden this whole time. Is that how you spell it? Oops. I've only seen that movie once. With you. Oops. Duchess. Jenny. I have no idea who's gonna win this one. Anyo's mom. We need a bigger lady bracket? That's what I'm saying. Roxanne gonna sweep. Oh my love. Lola. I don't know. Nani didn't make it. I'm so sorry, y'all. We could do this all day, though. Kita, so many good ones. Sailor Moon. Okay. Does Sailor Moon have any other name? She must, right? I don't know. Her mom must call her something. I mean, her name is Sailor Moon. And then when they were like, by the way, you're a sailor, she was like, oh, I had no idea. No, 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 no. I'm sure she's got a real name also. Serena is in English. Usagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's all in Japanese. Serena's funny. Okay. Unagi. Unagi. <laughs> okay. Well, we want to be able to see that a little. Jasmine in the red outfit was specifically requested. Yes. It was not us, although it is what I was going to say. It's what the people, it's what the people, oops. I wanted pole. Where's my pole? There we go. Okay, they're only 60 seconds, y'all. No, we're doing two minutes. Two minutes for the first ones? Yeah. Okay. All right. We got Jasmine. This is so hard. And Shigo. They both made me gay. Okay, two minutes for the first. Oops. Red outfit is not the gill of women. Stop with your gill pushing, Pinles. All right. Two minutes for the first run through, and then Buffy didn't. I wasn't allowed to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know where your parents were, everyone, where you could just watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh, this is so rough. I have no idea. Wow. I'm going with my gut on this one. Okay. This is really hard. It's only gonna get harder. I wasn't allowed to watch, like, Buffy or Charmed. Anything that was, like, live action that was, like, like that. My parents were downstairs oh. watching Buffy while I was on the stairs secretly watching. <laughs> Co, I love that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we couldn't do Jasmine versus Roxanne right out the gate. That wasn't fair. Okay, I gotta pee. All right, be careful. No. The red outfit is so good. Should they have done it? Probably not, but it did make me gay as an eight-year-old. I was like, I'm eight and I'm gay. Sorry. If you didn't want that to happen, why would you make me watch this movie? Yeah. 
Yeah. I love her. She go wins. All right. Don't worry, I'm on it. Nice. Okay. Next we have Roxanne and Elizabeth Swan. Mm-hmm. And this will be tough. Oh my god, I didn't know they were doing it in all caps. Bro, work with me, bro. Does Swan have two ends? I think it does. I'll leave it like this, though. I think Roxanne is technically a dog. She kind of looks like a like rat to me. Obviously in a very cute way, but... I'm sure Elizabeth's going to win, but my girl Roxanne... I think she's got a fighting chance. She deserves. She deserves to have a chance. Her oh, dad is a bulldog. This is actually much closer than I expected. Holy shit. Voting Roxanne Justice for Max Goof. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is unhinged how close this is. This is so wild. It's really close. I did want to be Elizabeth. I also wanted to be Elizabeth because mm. I wanted to be like Orlando Bloom, Johnny Depp at the time. What happens if they tie? I, I don't know. I don't know. We hadn't planned for that. If they tie, I guess we do like a revote, but only with with sixty seconds. Super sudden death. They must morph into one. <laughs> a vote for Elizabeth is a vote for boobies. Have they are not real. Have you seen that interview of her talking about them drawing on her boobies? Because it's so funny. It's her talking about how like the most amount of time that she ever spent in makeup was them essentially like contouring her very flat chest to look like it was boobs. It's such a cute interview. Panic of the Bisexuals would be a great name for the film. Wow. Okay. That Elizabeth. Really close. Elizabeth, and that's fair. Roxanne fought valiantly. Okay, Chell and Velma. I Ooh. think we know. Do you think we know? Did you get a... I got an ad. That's so funny. We'll it's wait. Okay. We get paid. No, right, but we'll wait so that folks can vote fairly. Till the ad's over. Okay, this is Chell, and then this is Velma. Velma from Scooby-Doo, this is the live action where she's in the spicy little outfit. And then Chell is from Road to El Dorado. Yeah. Okay, starting poll. I, I don't know if this is specifically live action Velma, but this is the one it that is. I had a crush on as a child. Oh my god, it's closer than I thought. What? Not enough people have seen Road to El Dorado. It's an excellent film. No, that's fair. I thought it might be like this. I love Smarty Pants as a kid. A Smarty Pants. Oh. Chell is the it girl. <laughs> yeah. so much, Artemis. Chell invented being sexy. Yeah. Literally tied. When she asks us who our mommies are... <laughs> Road to El Dorado is so good. Elton John did the music. You should watch it again. Yeah. Road to El Dorado, we just watched it a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lucky God. 
Chill. Come on. Bro. This is bonkers. You haven't voted. Oh my so god, this is so close. No! This is so close. Come on! Chelma. Oh my god, they're tied. We need one more vote! It's Velma. Chelma! Oh wow, holy shit. Okay, alright. I don't respect the country's decision. I do, I do. This is a democracy, this one time. Damn. Damn. Rip. Okay. All right. We are doing Megara and Jessica Rabbit. Meg is from Hercules. Everyone's saying I want to recount. <laughs> this is my Super Bowl. <laughs> We can do we can do a recount for Chell and for Velma. It was so that's the closest one. Where are the boxes of Chell votes? This one, there's no loser. That's I true. love them both so much. Yeah, I feel like this one's obvious. I did not know Jessica Rabbit as a child. I love this little rabbit as a child. As a baby gay, she made me uncomfortable because I was having feelings and I was like, I can't look at her. Classiest. Yeah. This match proves how powerful hips are. That's true. The Roger Rabbit movie is an excellent film. It's really fun. If you haven't watched it as a grown person, it's, it's really fun. You should watch it. I can't believe you could watch Roger Rabbit, but not Buddy. What's Buddy? Buffy? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Why couldn't you watch him? It has weird sexiness. So no, but I feel weird. like when you're a kid, you don't know that it's, like, sexy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Buffy has demons, though. It's because yeah. of religion. Buffy's scary. Yeah, there's, like, demons and, like, ghosts. Listen. I was going to say I wasn't allowed to watch Roger Rabbit because of Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> e oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what it is, Condolore. It's because Morgan was raised a very Southern Baptist. Wasn't allowed to watch Care Bears Dallas. What a weird choice. Okay, Meg. Meg, and then we're going to do a recount of Velma and Chell. Recount, because, recount. Because people are having feelings about it. Oops. Okay, Velma won the first time, but by literally one point. Oops. Mom, if you're watching, I need you to pull through for us. No, Mama's going to vote for Velma. I think that's a thing. What? Yeah. No. So we're going to do only 60 seconds on this one. Because it was very close. Chell stands, now's our time. Okay. Start pull. Chell is an indigenous baddie. This Literally. is true. Twitching my mojo <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Chell stands are faster. It's because we need her to win. Oh, my so uh, No, bad. absolutely, Dorian. Yeah. Jessica Rabbit is literally obsessed with her husband. It's so cute. It's really cute. <laughs> literally, Gemini. <laughs> Have they, are they not looking at her? Okay. That's a big enough margin difference that I think is fair. It was Chell. Oops. This is what I want. 
Chell on the recount. Okay, now let's completely switch vibes <laughs> to Violet and Maid Marian. Hmm, the fox or the child? I mean, you're a child when you vote. That's true. When you are a child, you're a child. When you're a child, you are in fact a child. I don't like either of them, to be honest. I was I was a Maid Marian stan. I was in love with her. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. I love that for you, Victor. Robin Hood was so fun. I feel like one of you little crushes on Violet. I wanted to be Violet for sure. I was like, I wish I could turn invisible. But, like, I didn't have a crush on her. I can't possibly that. I would say in that film, I was most likely to have a crush on Syndrome. So, that probably tells you a lot about me. That dorky-ass man? Yeah. You're but so he was very weird. smart. I didn't watch Robin Hood much either. I voted for Maid Marian, though, because Phoebe liked her. Edna mode no further questions. Oh, you're right. Syndrome is an unhinged answer. Love of my life. Oh, he was a little mean, you know? Oh, my so God. No, no, no. I didn't say I, I said if I was most likely to have a crush on anyone in the film, as a child, it would have been Syndrome. Mirage is so hot. <coughs> Oh my so god. Oh yeah, Edna's gender online. Oh, when you oh, Google oh, it oh. and it says like Oh yeah, Edna's a good one. Yeah. Give it a shit for Gil when she says syndrome. <laughs> I'm oh, just honest. My so good. Oh my so good. Yeah, I would say as an adult, Mrs. Incredible is obviously where Syndrome we're would have a horrible podcast. He would. Oh my god. This is childhood crush bracket, though. I think that's important to say as we also go into this one. Yeah. Okay. Duchess Aristocats. Yeah. Yeah. Cat versus robot. Jenny. Whatever. Okay. It's from a show called My Life as a Teenage Robot. It wasn't very popular. It was popular with a, a small group of kids. With kids who have autism. Every day I vacuum our stream area, and the next day I come over here, and somebody puts little quumbles. I've never put any quumbles. <laughs> it was very popular with me. Sounds like something on sci-fi at 3 a.m. <clears throat> It was a good show. I saw a couple episodes. I saw a TikTok where people were like, I think she's trans. She's trans, but she also has autism. Well, she's a robot. She's trying to find love. She has being a robot disease. Not <laughs> the sci-fi I hate. Goes to the mechanics for the dance. It's so cute. Does this count as an autism diagnosis? I think it does, baby. I think it does. The she where she wears a human suit. Oh. Hey, look at Duchess's eyes. Do autistic kids always love robot characters or just me? I think it's pretty common. <sighs> I'm stretching. <sighs> I was gonna pick Jenny, but then I realized I've never watched her show. <laughs> yeah, it's like very relatable that she's like, what the fuck, I don't understand what y'all are up to. And then to her all the time, the boy that she's into is like, what? What's going on with you? And she's like, oh, duh, it's a robot thing. Robot to autism pipeline, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just loved her kids and is and was sexy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Illyria. I think that's fair. Okay, it's clearly Duchess. 
Oh, we don't now. have alerts on here. Ponyo's mom and Lola Bunny. Get out of here. I was a full of it when Ponyo came out. Yeah, what year did it come out? <laughs> I feel I was a whole human for Ponyo. I feel like I was like 15 when Ponyo came out. Am I wrong? As a child, Lola, as an adult, Ponyo's mom. What year did Ponyo come out? In the U.S. 2009! Oh yeah, I was in high school. Don't dox yourselves. Don't dox yourselves, but I was 13. And I comfortably am considering that childhood. For the purpose of this, I would say. It is a late Studio Ghibli film. Most always win is true wisdom. I haven't seen most of them. I've seen like oh. the big three. Ponyo's really good. What are the big three? Ponyo, uh -huh. Totoro, and Howl. It's okay to be old and have a crush on a MILF. It is. That's allowed. She's also seen Kiki. I've seen Kiki and Spirited Away. Yeah. I think that's it. I tried to make her watch Princess Mononoke. She wouldn't. I think technically we watched the first half of Nausicaa once, but she hated it. Yeah. But I love it. The big three does include Spirited Away. Morgan is just a silly girly. You've seen the big ones. Penla's, you're right. Nausicaa is my girl. It's so good. So, 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 so good. I watched Space Jam an unreasonable amount as a child. Oh my god, y'all. This is not a um, spoiler for Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> but what I need y'all to know is that there's a bunch of things in like the first area that I just didn't do at all. And I had no idea that I was supposed to do them. I just ran off and got lost. <laughs> and now I'm going back and doing those things. And I'm like, oh, it would have been really helpful if I'd caught this piece of what was happening. <laughs> the town. Yeah. I just ran away. I was like, there's so many things to do. The world is so big. I've got shit going on. I don't have time for this. And then I went back to the little town and I was like, ah, shit. Yeah, it's only 945 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to urgent care till like 11.45. Okay. Course bracket. Okay. Starting poll. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, after the cough. Quit telling people I'm dead. Morgan woke up and it was just like worse. Yeah, I sprayed the shit out of my throat this morning, so now it doesn't hurt right now. I was gonna say, you sound better now. Well, it's because I sprayed that numbing spray. And we paid like $13 for it, but it really works. Yeah. I got it on my lips the first time I used it, and my lips were numb for like an hour. <laughs> you don't know who Kita is? You've never seen Atlantis? It's really good. You should really watch it. It's so good. Kita Atlantis. Our Gorley. If this were Sailor Mars, though, I had a Sailor... I think it was Sailor Jupiter. Who's the green hair? I don't know. I didn't watch Sailor Moon as a kiddo. It was, like, one of the few things I was allowed to watch on Cartoon Network. Mm. Was it on Cartoon Network? Yeah, that's where the anime shows were. Hmm... Sailor Venus. The fruity one. And Sailor Neptune. And Sailor Jupiter. All the ones that were like the green. It was like green, teal, and blue. They were all basically the same color. I had a doll of the one with the short green hair. And I took it everywhere. 
<laughs> Sailor Moon was too skinny for me. <clears throat> Sailor Moon was the first show on after school on weekdays. Not where I was. It was like the third or fourth. But I was on the East Coast. <gasps> oh, I love them. I've been following them for a long time. Can you get it? Yeah. Kita, obviously. And I love you, Sailor Moon, but I think we all knew that was going to happen. Yeah. All right. Oh, whoop, I've gone too far. So now we have Shigo versus Elizabeth Swan. And then Chell versus Megara. That's a tough one. Maid Marion versus Duchess. And then Lola versus Kita. That's also a tough one. That's, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be fucking brutal. All right. Uh, what did you do here? I copied them. What do you mean? I had to make it small. No. Yeah, you couldn't see it. Why would you do that? Sailor Uranus was the bioawakening. Okay. I may not be able to change the poll, but I can gaslight this chat on the winner. Uh -huh. Okay. Oops. you're kind of putting it confusingly how um because you're putting shigo and elizabeth right now on like what is technically the next bracket i just want them to be able to be seen that is fine i think that's fair because when we zoom me in they have to be there a japanese hamburger what's the difference i can delete their little vibes oh wow Furry versus furry over here. Yeah, well. I moved to work meeting so I can see the rest of the bracket play out. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. We want the full zoomy. Whoa, that's, hey, that's really zoomy. We want less zoomy. Okay. We're starting with Shigo and Elizabeth Swan. These are only 60 second polls, team, so I need you to be ready to vote, okay? The meat is slightly softer. I love it. And I'm ready to crush it. Wow. Ten in the first few seconds. Holy shit. This is brutal. This is going to be hard. This is brutal. Yeehaw. Thank you. I'm on, I'm on pins and needles right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I thought I knew. These are all going to be fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love women. Don't we all? I don't know if this would be the final two. Maybe I was too old when I started really getting into the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I was obsessed with Elizabeth Swan. I know. I don't know how big the gender non-conforming tournament will be. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my Although, second. we'll have chat help come up with. Damn. All right. Okay. Chell and Meg. Chell team. and Meg is going to be hard. Chell and Meg. I wanted to be Elizabeth Swan. And go. I feel like that's the hard part. <sighs> oh my god. Wow. 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 wow and I wow. have to make this decision. Hales, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dwake. <laughs> Shit. 
shit. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Can't okay. Falling in Love is equivalent to a national anthem. She had a more popular movie. That's fair. That's fair, Piasai. When my name is Cho, that's what she wants by default. I can't believe you don't know either of you them. You haven't seen Hercules? Evie, it's so good. This is rough. <laughs> hey. <laughs> by one point, y'all. Okay, Meg. Hold on. She had a good run. Sorry, y'all. Not stressful. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Sorry. Our fertility doctor called us, which is fine. Yeah. They just wanted to schedule another scan, which is fine. They were like, we have to do a scan because of the medication that you're on, which is strange. Yeah. I was so scared. I, was, I don't know what I thought we were going to say. I thought we were in trouble. I was like, what's happening? Meg won, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks. I was just so scared when they answered. I was like, if I turn it to like BRB or something, it's going to freak folks out. No, you're perfect. Okay. Uh, Maid Marian and Duchess. This is the furry uh, poll. Yeah, literally. And I love y'all. Good for you. It's weird that they want to do another scan, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I'm glad that they want to see if the follicles are maturing. Okay. 60 seconds starting now. I want to make sure that they, they found are. out about the poll and they want to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, by Will the Wisp. <laughs> Eat the rich. They're both the rich. <laughs> they are both the rich. I am surprised Maid Marian is winning. I'm not. She is. Maid Marian is an ally. She does believe that all cops are bastards. <laughs> oh no. Wait, that sounds terrible. No, she's for them. made like maiden. She's just a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like a princess, basically. She's not a lion. She's a fox. No, right? yeah, she's a fox. Oh, I guess she's not. I guess there is King Richard, and she's something? I don't she's definitely know. not a lion. She's a fox. No, she's a fox, I promise. Okay, Maid Marian. Unsurprising to me. And then we have Lola and Kita. This is so Which hard. is rough. I don't know. I feel like I know who's going to win this. Okay, starting pull now. Ugh. I just feel like overall, 
This is hard. I feel like this shows how fervently people are obsessed with PETA, though, because Lola Bunny has to be more well-known. Yeah. No, that's probably true. Dorian? But I love Kita. Dorian to jail. To jail. It would be funny. How did you not like Atlantis? It's kind of stressful. That's true. Barnacle, I'm feeling that. Now, you say Lola's the hottest Looney Tune. Who would be the second hot? Like, she's obviously the hottest one. Who's the second hottest? Daffy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's a bastard. <laughs> none of them, none of them are hot besides her. Not like a cop. I meant that Daffy's a bastard. Like, he's snotty. Bugs and drag. So true. That's true. We did have Ponyo's mom. And Lola beat Ponyo's mom. Okay, Kita wins. Okay, let's zoom out so that we can see where we're at, team. We've got Shigo. Do you see how you're using the brackets Versus wrong? Megara. Maid Marion versus Kita. I am using them wrong, but I just want people to be able to see as Why we zoom in. Why don't you just delete in. Elizabeth Swan, delete Chell? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And then make them bigger. Because we really just need the photos, basically. No, no. This is, like, unhinged in a different way than I thought it would be. <laughs> Oops. It's Meg's supremacy time. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea who's going to win. Okay. Is everyone ready? Maid Marion should not be in the final four. It's absurd that she is. I don't know how that happened. Okay. She going, Meg. Let's go. I have no idea who's gonna win this one. I know, I know how it looks right now, but this one hurts. This one hurts, but nice girlies win. I feel like is what's gonna happen here. Who's Roxy Andrews? Susan Egan, I hope you're in chat today. <laughs> oh, that's so good. We're, we're fast to defend Meg. Meg is not boring. If you think Meg is boring, you're wrong. Yeah. She has a very interesting backstory. Zeus sucks, says Meg would be just mean enough to me. Hey, are you Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> Why is your name Zeus sucks? <laughs> That's very suspicious. That's incredibly suspicious, Zeus sucks. <laughs> Hercules literally, in chat right literally now. Literally Hercules in chat right now. <laughs> okay, Meg wins. Maid Marion versus Kita, which is insane, and I'm sorry. I don't really know how that happened. <laughs> okay. Oops. Maid Marion. <laughs> Okay, Kita. 60 seconds, let's go. Hercules come to defend his woman. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How are people voting for Maid Marion? Over Kita? Y'all are weirdos. These are, we have 15 furries in the chat, and I'm not mad. I support them. Oh my god. We're so just bad. furries. That's okay. I'm happy for you. That's not a crime. That's how Maid Marion made it to the final four is because That's of true. Trees. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, Squid Ink. That's just how I it just is. I just want the underdog to succeed. The underfox. 23 furries now. <laughs> Seven, baby, listen. That's so fair. It's a fun film. It is kind of stressful. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Oops, again. Okay, 
The final two is Meg and Kita. That's so hard. Which is fucked up. I know who's going to win here. How do you know? I just do. If I'm voting by how I felt as a child, then I know who I must vote for. Hold on. I always knew it would come down to this. Okay. If it's winner versus Aladdin, then the girlie's winning for sure. Yeah. Okay. Literally an impossible vote. I'm starting the poll. It's moving so fast. It has to be this. It has to be. If you're voting, I mean, vote however you want. But I'm voting on how I felt as a kid. Then it has to be Megara. Because when I watched Atlantis, I was fo focused on Milo a lot more than I was Kita. Now, I was obviously paying attention to her. Don't get me wrong. America has a problem. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. As a kiddo, it was always Kita, and that's fair. Neither of these are the wrong answer. No. Justice for Shigo. That's fair, Justice baby. for Chell. Yeah. Oh, my God. Justice for Chell. I thought Chell was going to win the whole thing. All right. It's Meg. It's Meg. Damn. Damn. Okay. That's our girly. Oh. What? Did I do this wrong? No, you did the second one more correct. What did I do? You're supposed to do what you did. Good job. Did I do this Should right? we do a gender? No. Should we do a gender non-conforming one? Yes. But I think that what we would have to do... Can we come up with that many people? That's what I'm saying. I think what we need to do is cut it in half. No, hang on. I think we try to fill it. You think so? Yeah, with Chad's help. Okay. We've got him and Spinelli. And Edna Mode. That's who we've got. Get the Iron Giant in there. Okay, hang on. I'm going to Google. I feel like him's going to win. Haste. Um... Oh, Pleakley is fair. Yeah, Pleakley is good. These are from... Let's see. Um... Gonzo. Birdo. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Well, we put Link in the boy one. Hold on. Who's Mystique? Give him another shot. This is the only one. Oh, yeah, the eight voice by Rosie. The, yeah, Turk from... Oh, yes, that's a great that's one. That's a great one. That's a great one. Ursula, I feel like, is really giving woman. But if people want to put her in the gender non-conforming one, I'm not one to... Peppermint Patty? <laughs> Hey, when they're right, they're right. Did you not know who Peppermint Patty was? I don't know. I don't know any other names. Oops. Oh, you cut off her little face. Oh, no. 
Not Pepper Ann, but Doug's sister, I feel like would be a good one. What the fuck was her name? Was it also Patty? No, Patty Manny's? No. You're right. What's Doug's sister's name? I think we should put in Mulan. Um... Audrey from Atlantis is also a good one. And Betty DeVille from Rugrats. Oh, no. I don't want hair. Type uh, in boy. This is it. You want ping. Yeah. Betty from Rugrats. And then what was the other one? Who's that was Betty the one from said? Rugrats? Bill and Lil's mom. Oh. Yeah. Audrey from Atlantis. Yeah, was the other one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, Morgan, I do want pink. Bugs Bunny is a great one. Yeah. How did we not think of Bugs Bunny yet? Hold on. Jesse from Team Rocket. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold Audrey on. from Atlantis. Thank you. Who are the other ones? Uh, Bugs Bunny. Miss Frizzle, I don't feel like, is giving gender non conforming. Not as much as other folks. Hades from Hercules? Big Ben. Elastigirl's definitely not giving gender non conforming. Hades is at least in a dress. Hey, I'm trans, so I'm the one who gets to decide. All right, go ahead. I get final say. Elastigirl, not so much. We're looking for people who we wouldn't comfortably put into either the boy or the girl poll. Folks who it's like, no. <laughs> they gotta be in a separate poll on account of how hot they are. Boober from Fraggle Rock? We have Gonzo. Hey, Boober is different from Gonzo. I know. I would say Red is... The trash heap. I would say Red is... Oh, yeah, Edna Mode was another one that we were saying before. Eve from Wally, and I'm hearing that. We'll put, we'll put Eve from Wally in there. Our closed captions almost never work. I don't know why. We have reset them so, so many, many times. times. I don't know if it's just like a bad app. I know a lot of streamers have issues with them. I don't know if we just need to get like a different attachment. What's it called? Not attachment. Add-on thingy? Yeah. What was the other one I was thinking? Um, oh, James Team Rocket. Oh, Jesse Team Rocket. Jesse. No, it's James. Oh. Um... Oh. I'm not realizing that this is not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of rocket power. Oh, yeah, no. James with big old honkers. Shaggy with boobs. Okay. I think we all know Shaggy with boobs made us feel something. Is he gonna be that pixelated? Yeah. All right. The dentist from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Claymation. Actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, I'll give you that one. <laughs> hey, why'd you spell Rudolph like that? This was my gender for a time. All right, that's everybody, right? Yes. Okay. Well done. This is the one who wouldn't go to elf practice. He yeah. wants to be a dentist. Yeah. 
Oh, the Grinch also would have been a good one. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, there's nobody I want to kick out. Is it Turk? We could have done so many Candyland characters, that's true. Yeah, Turk <laughs> is T-E. Yeah, which is silly. Never in, never in. Much too cool for seventh grade. Is it Aubrey or Audrey? Audrey, I think. Yeah. That's the same name to me. I'm sorry, y'all. And then who's this, Betty? Yeah. Hades rules. No, Grimace was a good one. Candyland was also a good one. <laughs> Is it Jesse or is it James? Oh, sorry, that is James. Every girl from Teen Titans. Edna Mod. Does Jenner not confirm if I can get a buy? What do you mean, like a buy? Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Herbie is his name. Okay. Yeah, Boob Shaggy. Well, that's who we're talking about specifically. Hermie wants to be a dentist. Wait, what did you write? Dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in him achieving his dreams. <laughs> okay, him and Spinelli. Hot for the dentist? Him and Spinelli, this is easy. He is so me when I skip elf practice for dentistry. <laughs> okay, starting poll. Him really made me feel things. I was going to say, you are saying that this is so easy as someone who does not currently identify as a lesbian. You don't think him is cute? I think him is very cute. I was so into Spinelli as a kid. No. Yeah. She's not a lesbian. <laughs> I thought you'd laugh. <laughs> You're a weird girl today. No, I never liked Spinelli. I didn't like her character. I really liked the main boy with the backwards hat, and I liked the chubby boy. That's fair. Who was tall, whose name was, I think, Mike. Yeah, Spinelli's going to kick him's ass, which is insane. What? Yeah. Look. That's what's going to no, happen No, I felt like she was mean. TJ and Mikey, yeah. Every time him was on screen, I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> he was also like, I also just like horror. That should have been my parents' indication yeah. that I should have been allowed to watch appropriate children's horror because you know how his voice was like, <laughs> scary. Yeah. It's what Docs. What the claws do? It's Docs versus Heels right now. It's so true. And that's just showing the, you know, Who's here? The sexuality, yeah, of the no, folks in the that's chat. Fair. I'm telling you. I'm glad about it though. If you're into lesbians, you're into Spinelli. She they versus he they. <laughs> For real. I feel like I also feel like Spinelli, it's it's a super annoying Halloween costume to me. Because in college when I was like, let's get drunk and spend way too much time on our Halloween costumes, like, the one lazy person would be like, I'm Spinelli, clearly, and they'd just be wearing a beanie. And I'd be like, it's not a Halloween costume. <laughs> That's a hat you're wearing. <laughs> so it's not really Spinelli's fault. Okay. All right. We got Pleakley That's versus Gonzo, y'all. This one's rough. This is, yeah, this is a hard one. That's how I feel about Rosie the Riveter. <gasps> that is how I feel about Rosie the Riveter. And I'm sure Rosie the Riveter is a lovely woman, okay? 
But it's not a Halloween costume. Stop saying it is. Spend $400 like the rest of us. Okay, Pleasley versus Gonzo, go. Oh, let's see. I think I know who's going to win, but I'm voting with my heart. Yeah. Listen. Listen, Fleekly loves their little outfits. Yeah. Trans mask versus trans femme. Rosie's only a Halloween costume if you also build your own plane. <laughs> Gonzo has a job. <laughs> Gonzo is monogamously married to Camilla the chicken. Yeah. Pleakley is just a loose woman. And we love that for her. Fashion icon, yeah. I had a little, remember when they did the Lilo and Stitch McDonald's toys? I, I had all of them, and I miss them every day. You have a ribbon and prop, I dig it. Now, listen, Pleakley, she started as a cop, and then she stopped being a cop. That's true. Right? I know. I am Gonzo. That's what it is. I know. Listen, we've been doing this for two hours. Pleakley said a cab, and we love that for Pleakley her. Pleakley is a scientist. Yeah, that's you're right. True staccato. But she that's is working true. for the cops, or he was working for the cops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and then they stay on Earth, and then they make the TV show and the other like twelve movies or whatever. She started as a mosquito enthusiast. She literally did. She's a scientist. They brought Pleakley to protect the environment. She's trying to remove an invasive species from Earth. A worse looking animal control officer. Okay, heard. Oh my god, she's one of the orange cops at the California border. She's she a, is. She's a fruit cop. So yeah. hot men started A-cabbing. Yeah. This was obvious to me that this was how this was going to go. I'm sorry to everyone. Okay, yeah. Birdo and Turk. This is difficult. I don't know if it'll be difficult for other people. This is difficult for me. The feelings I had for Turk were strange. Because I remember being like, no, I really like Turk. And I didn't know that much about Rosie O'Donnell. No, Turk's an adult woman for most of the film. Like, a, uh, not like adult adult, but like in her 20s, I would say. Also, we're all children. Yeah. Birdo, <laughs> we're doing childhood crushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back it up. I want to say we're doing childhood crushes. Birdo is engaged to Yoshi. This is Birdo. Turk is the little gorilla in uh, Tarzan that has a lesbian voice. Yeah. Well, it was important to me. I picked both of their flirtiest pictures. Birdo has a huge rock. That's true. Turk is incredibly gender. Not for me, but for some people. Turk is Rosie O'Donnell, yeah. It's like all I knew about Rosie O'Donnell besides the fact that she had a TV show and she was fat. And so I remember that and being like, I'm fat. I can have a TV show. I don't think I know the TikTok lesbian who looks like Turk. Yeah, I do not know that. I'm scared about that. Yeah. It's so good. I did not Google Birdo flirtiest picture. I just Googled Birdo and I chose the flirtiest picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Elise. Dorian, but Birdo is spoken for. <laughs> oh, Des the Les. Oh, I do. Oh, I love they her. They do look like Turk. I've yeah. never heard anyone say that, though. Birdo stays flirting, and I love that for her. But Turk? I loved Turk. I still love Turk. When we watch Tarzan, I'm like, she literally gets it. She's like, Tarzan, what the fuck is going on with you, dude? Yeah. We've grown up together, and now you're being weird. <laughs> is she ethically... Is she... That's true. When you say not ethically monogamous, do you mean that she's unethically monogamous? Or do you mean that she's unethically non-monogamous? <laughs> There's so many options here. Oh, I don't remember what I said, Jay. You're perfect at nitty with it. I was afraid that it was going to be something people were saying on the internet that was, like, accidentally racist, and so I was nervous, but you're perfect. 
I am not surprised if that's something that she is saying. Yoshi is not me, and the poll is about us, the little people. Us as babies. Okay, Peppermint Patty and Ping. <laughs> this is fucking easy. This is easy. She is ethically non-monogamous. Heard, okay. We're ethically monogamous. That's true. All right. Hello, go. welcome to our gender non-conforming childhood crush bracket. Welcome. I'm unethically monogamous. <laughs> Listen. This is easy. Listen. If she didn't have flip-flops, you don't like that her little grippers are out? Peppermint Patty fucks. <laughs> Has to be pink. Has to be. I'm happy that seven people like Peppermint Patty. <laughs> the fact that Marcy calls Peppermint Patty, sir. Listen. They didn't realize what they were doing at that time. Peppermint Patty, I, I didn't watch any of the Peanuts things growing up, though. That's why, yeah. So I don't even know what she looks like or sounds like her. Peppermint Patty is like a softball lesbian. And you just look at Peppermint Patty and you're like, that person is using they, them pronouns. She only walked because she couldn't run in those flip flops. It's like a soft, it's like a soft they, he, I would say. Yeah. And like legally Peppermint Patty is canonically a she her pronouns user so i wouldn't say anybody's like using the wrong wrong pronouns but that is what it is black eyed peas burger used to voice sally from peanuts Which that's one's sally wild the the little sister of the blonde. how do you know so little about the peanuts I don't, they're ugly wow sorry i know it's because they're old For but you. i feel like when i watch old scooby-doo and it looks ugly it's like comforting to me and when i watch peanuts i'm like okay they haven't updated this why does it look like this? <laughs> You're wild. You're a little wild thing. Oh my god! I didn't okay. watch them. We watched the Halloween one like two years ago. It was the first time I'd seen it, and every time you got a rock, I did laugh because it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Charlie Brown's like, I got a rock, and Morgan's like, Oh my fucking god, this loser! <laughs> so good. It's also yeah, it's really sad. I think that's why I didn't watch it as a kid. My parents, I would have like cried way too much. I'm not, I would never call myself an empath no, as an adult, but it's how my parents talked about me as a kid because, like, I wasn't allowed to go to the movies for years because I would get so upset at, like, the, the like, peak of a movie when everything's stressful. It's because you were experiencing active trauma. No, that's true. And your parents wouldn't let you feel feelings because they weren't good. Audrey's also from Atlantis. Yes. She's a mechanic. Let's and go. And she, she's 17 in the movie and she runs her dad's shop. Or no, she's 19 in the movie and she runs her dad's shop. Because he died. And then her brother, or I mean, her sister is like a all-time wrestler. They're like both gender non-conforming hotties. Yeah, I was obsessed with Audrey. I did not read the play Dog Sees Gods. Oh, I forgot to vote. Yeah, Morgan is Lucy from the Peanuts. No, she's really mean. Audrey's the hat, Betty is the earring. Audrey Betty's... was the first to turn sides and be on Milo's side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the vibe, Kent, for sure. Audrey is a kid and Audrey is an adult, for sure, for me. Although I really like Betty. You said Audrey is a kid and Audrey is an adult. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. I was saying what I would say. I see. Yeah. Listen, Betty's incredible. Betty is absolutely I'm obsessed not obsessed with her. Do you have your insurance card? Uh, it's in my wallet. Where's your wallet? In, in, the... in the same place it has been for two years. I'm going to scream in your head! Betty made me feel safe. No, exactly. Okay, where's your insurance card? 
don't look at me so snotty and don't show them your numbers on your cards. I will. Creepy boily man. No, you're the creepy one who is creepy. That is trash. That is trash. Audrey one. I think we all knew that would happen. As it should. Okay. Next we have Hades and Bugs. Which is insane. All right. Hades and Bugs Bunny. I think we all know. Here you go. Who should be winning that? Well, I'm sad. <laughs> did you vote for Bugs? I did. I'm sorry. I did, but that's okay. Hades is an OG queer code villain. I get it. I'm sad about it, but I get it. I agree. As a kid, I had a fixation with Bugs Bunny and drag. Like, for <laughs> sure. I wonder why. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gemini. I love Hades. They do yeah. have completely different vibes. That's hard. You've never liked Bugs? I like Bugs. He is, he's a little bitch. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like he's more like a stinker, you know? Yeah. You're like, nah. But it's not like, you're not gonna die or anything. He says, ain't I a stinker? A lot. Ain't I a stinker? Does he say it a lot? I know he says it in Roger Rabbit and we've just seen it a lot. Yeah, he says it a lot. Oh. That's why he says it in Roger Rabbit. Well, it's true. Yeah. It's like a 50-disc set. Okay. We used to have a ton of them. Have y'all Let's seen? go to your house. Daffy Duck's Quackbusters is really good. Bugs is literally he's, the definition of Rapper He's desperately Rapper Ansbilly. He is self-aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he gets that he's a stinker. I, too, am a stinker. <laughs> the bitch to stinker pop line. Pop line? I can't read. Okay. Today's gender is stinker. All right. James from Team Rocket. I didn't watch Pokemon. So this Edna is easy. Edna Mode Incredibles. I'm sure that James will win, but. I've got big feelings about this. Oh, no, did it freeze? It doesn't look like it froze for us. This is so close. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Listen, socially mm -hmm. enough, have you considered how hot he is? Yeah, that's true in her dialogue. I want Edna and Hades as my parents. Yeah. I love Edna, but it needs to be James for the gender nonconformity of it all. That's valid. His flame looked so cool. His flame was blue. Edna Mode was fat phobic, though. That's not surprising to me. That I don't is remember. true. Oh, she was, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She loves that baby, though. And she loves to babysit. And I was like, this is a huge compliment. <laughs> oh my god, we're so close. I can't believe how close it is. We're not gonna bob so clean, it's a Robert. <laughs> I, she was fatphobic in the same way that a lot of cartoon characters were in the early 2000s. I'm sure that... Oh, not all, anything special. No, 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 no. I do know Blue is supposed to be. Hey, I love how many people are telling us this. What's happening? But we all went to 10th grade chemistry. We all know Blue's the hottest flame. Come on, everyone. 
Yeah, that's fair. That's valid. Damn. Boom. We all know. Okay. Blue's the warmest color. All right. Dentist. That's his name. His name is not Dentist. That's what I've named him. So true. I don't know if it'll let you say boobs. And it's okay. going. <laughs> sorry. Sorry to her me. Shaggy with boobs made us all feel things as a kid. <laughs> Shaggy's how I think I look, and for me, I do not like it. Oh, my God. I tell Phoebe sometimes that I look like Shaggy with boobs. We should recreate this photo before you get your top surgery. We should. Oh, Shaggy was with boobs. It's the second, second live-action Scooby-Doo movie where they're using this machine that changes you. There's one. Uh, spoiler alert for Scooby-Doo 2. Monsters Unleashed. Monsters Unleashed. Um, but somebody's like taking like costumes of monsters and turning them into actual bad guy monsters. So they're like in like a like mad scientist lair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They drink a potion, I think. Oh, it was a potion. Thank that you. That sounds right. <laughs> Sometimes Shaggy has boobs, okay? I was talking about, like, working to get top surgery to get my, like, um, recommendation letter from a mental health professional um, on Instagram, and I said, I'm in the process of rehoming my melons. And listen, sometimes that's just what's happening. Why was Phoebe with boobs? Yeah. Shaggy can have boobs as a treat. He clearly loved them, which is adorable. Who wouldn't? I'd like to give mine to Shaggy permanently. I was obsessed with OG Scooby Doo and live action felt Aww, wrong. that's fair, Soggy Cedar. I loved all forms of Scooby Doo. Did y'all did did watch Scooby Pup Name Scooby Doo? Pup Name Scooby Doo is my fave. <laughs> They're being sent to a farm to live other days. Yeah. Okay. A boob Shaggy obviously won over dentist. No, that's wild. Okay. Back in the dip. Okay. So now I was in the official Scooby Doo fan club. Spinelli and Pleakley. Turk and Ping. Wow. Audrey and Hades. Oh no. And then James and Boobs Shaggy. How are these all very similar energy folks? That's kind of <laughs> impressive. <coughs> here we go. None. None. Thinking about a pair of boobs grazing in a field. <clears throat> I think Boob Shaggy has this in the bag. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Oops. Oh my god. Please, buddy. Okay. This lineup of names is every gay friendship group. Uh -huh. You're right. I can't believe how many people love Spinelli. You're just not a lesbian. No, I actively didn't like her. She was my least favorite of the five of them. And my second least favorite was the really tall girl with glasses. Well, she was just kind of boring, though, which isn't a crime. Making my Discord name Boob Shaggy. Okay. All right, team. She acted like she was too cool for them. Yeah, and she wasn't. Oops, that's not what okay. I wanted to do. Sorry. You just hidden buttons. Sometimes they're just hidden buttons. All right. I do remember that episode where she became one of the Ashleys. Boob Shaggy Mom Spaghetti. All right, Spinelli v. Pleakley. Go. 60 seconds on the clock, team. Hey, I don't have the poll. You gotta click in, click out. Stop. You gotta click down and then. Oh my god. 50 50. 
But Bobby says Morgan hate to break it to you, but sometimes like our crushes to be a little mean. Morgan can't relate. She's never had that experience. No. Gretchen was Ashley Johnson. Mm. Gretchen was Ashley Johnson. Like that was the actor's name. That's true. Maybe I need my crushes to be nice to me all the time. <laughs> I cannot believe how close this is. Hey, hey, House is a genius. He's a tortured soul. And I can fix him. I think I just don't like women to be mean. This is so close. It's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. What do we do? It's a tie. We do a recount. 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 Wow. Can we do less than one minute? No. No. Okay. Starting poll. Wow. It's still so close. A runoff election. This is literally neck and neck. <laughs> Vote if you haven't. Everyone just ties it again. Please don't tie it. Not my heart racing. Spinelli or Pleakley. It's you still must tied. Vote. I think oh, if it's a tie oh. again, you guys have to be the tiebreaker. Okay, that's fair. You're dripping so much. <laughs> Hold on. Pleakley's pulling through. Pleakley sweep. Wow. Okay, amazing. That was rough. That okay. was hard. That was difficult, team. <clears throat> okay. Turk from Tarzan. This will be hard also. They're all going to be hard. Ping from Mulan. None will be as hard as Audrey versus Hades, but we're not there yet. Starting poll now. <laughs> Funny side character. I was like, I don't know how to tell you this. Damn. I'm sorry, Turk. I'm sorry, Turk. She had a good run. Rosie, we love and support you. Rosie, if you're watching this, as Rosie, I'm sure you are. Rosie. We're big Turk fans. We're, it's not that. <clears throat> I feel so devoted to Ping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't talk about me much. <laughs> King I love that. just hotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it turned because honestly, I thought this would be closer. That's fair. That's fair. No, it's true. I thought Turk was really cute. All right, Ping wins. That's true. If Turk's going to lose to anyone, Ping is a good one. Yeah. Unlike him losing to Spinelli. Which is insane. All right, Audrey Hades. Oh. This one is going to hurt. This one is going to hurt, but honestly, there's no losers. They're both really good. They both deserve to go forward. Starting poll. Listen, if I'm voting as a child, as I felt as a child, I know exactly who I must vote for. Too many Hercules fans in here. <laughs> Listen, it's just the luck of the draw. Yeah. It's the luck of the draw that placed them together. Neg all the way, but I can't vote Hades. He's got too much chin. Whoa, 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 hey. whoa. Perfect amount of chin. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny, because I feel like as a child, <laughs> Hades... Sue sucks says, no, hold on, <laughs> it's a stretch. 
Hey. Hey, 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 hey. That's his uncle. Hey. <laughs> now, I feel like we shouldn't have assumed that Zeus sucks as Hercules. Maybe Zeus sucks as Hades. <laughs> I wish. James versus Boob Shaggy. This is difficult. I think Boob Shaggy might take it all. I don't know. You can't make me choose. All right, let's go. Do sucks could really be anyone in Greece? <laughs> That's true. Could also be Persephone. I hadn't even thought about that. I can't believe James is winning. I'm, listen. Boob Shaggy didn't make you guys feel things? James is, like, so cute, though. Like, cross-dressing a lot. Our whole childhood. If this becomes a Boob Shaggy loss, I will mourn. I will also mourn. It doesn't look like Boob Shaggy's gonna pull through. Please, 14 of my best friends, show up and vote for Boob Shaggy. <laughs> Boob Shaggy deserves to win. <laughs> I think the problem is Shaggy No Boobs is less hot. Hey, this isn't about Shaggy No Boobs. This is about Boob Shaggy. This is about Boob Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. We're trying to buy the election. I would if I could. She's got to let the people speak. I never said this should be a democracy. How the fuck is this supposed to happen? Like this? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And then just, I would just delete their other photos. You're bossing me around right now. <laughs> this is a cheerocracy. Duckburg. If Spinelli's going down, I'm taking Boob Shaggy with her. No! Not that. Pleakly paying Audrey and James the Beatles we deserved. I really can't believe Audrey beat Hades. I'm glad, but I am surprised. I also already miss Boob Shaggy. Okay. Pleakly versus... Oops. I keep doing that. Hey, stop doing that. Bleakly versus Ping. Let's go. Let's go, lesbian bottoms. Damn. Someone changed their name to Justice for Spinelli. <coughs> yeah. It's a hard ping sweep. I mean, hey, Bleakly, she really had a good run. She really did. Now, Persephone, this is what stream is all about. Hey, Persephone, how'd you vote on that Hades poll? Not Bleakly getting railed, y'all. Oh, my, so God. She did, she made it really far. The final four? Wow. I'm so sorry, Seven. I'm so sorry, baby. Wow. Okay. All right. And then we've got Audrey versus James. The final two is going to wreck us. Voting in an actual election should be this fun. If only. Hey, you stop picking at your face. I'm not. I put little things on. Listen, I did vote Hades. Suspicious, Persephone. All right. <laughs> Starting poll. Are you familiar with Zeus sucks? <laughs> I don't know, Team Rocket. Ping for president. Wow. This is so close. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, 
That makes sense. The Greek <laughs> lore in chat today. James is so baby girl. And no one cares. Voting James knowing he's going down. Now, you guys say all Team Rocket. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's only the two people, right? You forgot the cat. Who's the cat? Meow. He works for the bad guys? He's on Team Rocket. Did you not see the cat in this photo? No. There's the cat. Oh, that's a goose. Oh. Why does he work for them? What? He works with them. Isn't he a Pokemon? Yeah, he's evil. They make him like that? Also, Meowth literally is voiced by a trans woman. Which is fun. The bottoms will not be silenced. All right. Audrey versus Ping. Who, I think we could have predicted that this would be the... This is rough. The outcome. Him out in the first... I cannot believe. Like, that's absurd. She, they battle, let's get it. Okay. It's. I feel like it's they, she versus she, they. All right. Stop clicking view results, Phoebe. Thank you. Childhood me having a crisis. All right. Let's go. I gotta go with my gut. I think at the end we could vote, like, do all three against each other. All three? All three winners from the three brackets. Oh. My lesbianism can't decide. It's difficult. All three plus kill. <laughs> Not where was kill. Stop saying kill that. Kill is a fish. You have daddy issues. <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible for there to be a hot fish. I am saying it's impossible for it to be a fish hey, voiced by Willem Dafoe. We've all seen shark tails. We know it's possible for there to be a hot fish. There's a shark tail. There's just one tail. There's only one tail? Yeah. Shark tail. Shark tail. Shark tail. Yeah. Oh, there's multiple tails. No. He's <laughs> been all over my face. Penguins. <laughs> oh, my God. And penguins! Wow. Wow. Oh, I did do it wrong. I told you. I did it really wrong. Okay, so now we're doing Aladdin versus meg oh no versus ping aladdin did win over shang now if you're going with og like aladdin's much older like we i've seen aladdin much more than i've seen mulan a laughing <laughs> you <laughs> have <laughs> You have me laughing a lot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, this is very interesting to me that we have a Disney character sweep. That's not surprising at all. Aladdin. Well, he's from Aladdin. Sorry about that. We are all Aladdin. Meg is from Hercules. And Ping is from Mulan. Okay. More than I think it should be more than one minute. Are you... Two minutes. Doing this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're also allowing additional votes with the Dablo Pons, <laughs> which are doubloons. But somebody one time typed Dablo Pond. Seven. <laughs> oh, shit. Should we do. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. For the win. Should we hold on? Hold on. Oh, it's two L's, which I never would have guessed. Somebody, it's always me. 
Okay, we'll do three minutes. Starting poll. <coughs> This is what the fish looks like. This is our final. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What's happening? Everyone's using their double thoughts! <laughs> okay, Aladdin's not doing well. 166? Jesus Christ! Okay, here's our final ultimate childhood crush. How does how does, how does Gil have four hundred votes? <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! What is happening? I think Meg is the real winner. He's a fish. It's a fish. <laughs> oh my god. I went from 6k to 2. <laughs> no one's going to have any doppelbonds for a long time. I knew I was saving up for something. Oh my god. I used all my doppelbonds on Meg also. How many doppelpons did you have? Only like 300. Not very many. Because I don't use my account very much. Oh my god. Megan Ping. I mean, Megan. Megan Gill. Gil are literally neck and neck. Come on, Meg. Pull through. The Gill girlies are screaming. I'm spinning it so <laughs> fast, it's airing. <laughs> Meg girlies rise up. Oh my god. This is terrifying. <laughs> For the folks on YouTube later, we made it so that you can vote with your... I can put this over, right? It's not going to give any spicy information if I do. I don't think so. Look at this. Almost so good. Look at the poll. Look how unhinged the poll is. I can't even see words from our friends at this point. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is wild. It's because if chat loves one thing, it's a joke that's gone too far. Yeah. Oh my god. Y'all are little monsters. 57,200 channel points were used just now. No, that's how many only Sleepy Lolly used. Oh, no. Wow. 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 We did it, Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. Great job, Bottoms. Y'all... <laughs> I spent all my double pawns on Meg. My so god. <laughs> my little crime is letting y'all use double pawns. Yeah. Oh, my so god. Pokémon go to the polls to vote for Gil. Okay, Gil's the winner winner, which is insane. Oh my so god. We'll not let y'all forget that you let Shang and Ping lose. 59k. I also want to be clear to anybody who doesn't understand Twitch, no money dollars were spent. It's, no, just, it's just pretend money that yeah. you accumulate from watching a stream. So like over time, it's like if you watch for an hour, you get like 200 doppel upon. Fake gambling. Yeah, it's pretend silly, silly, silly gambling. You don't win anything. You don't. I want to spend actual money. No. <laughs> oh my that is God. definitely your crime. Yeah, sorry. I bet my house on this. Oh my so God. Holy shit. Twitch campaign finance reform. Deeply unhinged. We can do one without Gil. Deeply unhinged. Do you want to do one without Gil now? 
to find out who really would win. Well, it would be Meg, because Meg was second, right? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you want to do it with no Doppelopons? Because people were doing it. Yeah, let's do it with no Doppelopons. Completely fair, so he's no Doppelopons. Okay. No Doppelopons. And we'll do Hang Meg Aladdin. Girl, he's right for Gil. That's so bad. Okay. We'll just do one minute on this one. <laughs> I do think it'll probably still be Meg. Oh my god. But it's hard to tell. You, I, you know, you never know. We've literally been doing this for like a solid three hours. I know. That's so funny. I did not think it was going to take no, this long. No, I thought long. we were going to run out of stuff. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to shift into the doing something else. The street sweeper's out today. Which is hear? hilarious. Yeah. Watch, here he comes. He's sweeping. He's sweeping the street. He He's got to sweep the, the street. street. He'll sweep he it. Must He'll sweep, sweep that street. street. He's going to sweep the street. Look at him go. Wow. I really want a street sweeper job. That seems kind of nice. Meg and Pang are literally neck and neck. They're both good. They're so close. So close. We can go back and do a recap. Before the recap, we do have to... It's literally a tie. Good. They both deserve to win. Okay, well, let's hold on. Let's get rid of Aladdin, because obviously that wasn't happening. That'll be the breaker. Uh, ping Mulan. Meg Hercules. Okay. We need ranked choice voting. I wish. That would be great if we could do that. Aladdin really got wrecked. Well. Okay, this is a sponsored stream. <laughs> yeah. While you vote. So while you vote, <laughs> we're going to talk about uh, Big Fig, which is our mattress that we have. It's incredible. It's lovely. Um, if you do the cutesy little exclamation point Big Fig in the chat, which I'll do for you here, you can use our little link. The link is evergreen. It works forever. Um, so if you at some point want to get a mattress. It'll be in our uh, bio. It'll, it'll be in our bio like forever. Um, it'll also be in this like YouTube thingy. Um, we love 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 our big fig um every mattress that we've ever had i know isn't that great shark dad um every mattress that we've ever had uh has just like gotten the slumpiness of our bodies in it we've had i guess like two right yeah um and we had never bought like a fancy mattress i don't know like in comparison to like not shitty mattresses what big fig is like i know that they are like a little expensive right <laughs> now you can use mem day Pink to one. get <gasps> i love that i love that for my boy um, you can use Mem Day for Memorial Day to get uh, it like four hundred dollars off. They usually have one of these going, yeah, uh, which is great. They also you can get like the the like frame and foundation type dealio, um, and we have the king bed, and we really 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 love it. Um, they're great to work with. It's super comfy. It's very like firm, I would say. Yeah. So if you're true. someone who's looking for a bed that's like cushy, then maybe this isn't your vibe. Um, but yeah, the feels good. The feels good. <laughs> we love our mattress. Um, um, they're also a really great company. They always pay us yeah. and other influencers. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they are. They exclusively hire fat people to, to talk about of. their mattresses, yes, which is really true. lovely. I wouldn't say it's super firm. It's. I would say it's the most firm bed I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And I love it. That's a great question, Amy. I don't know. There's I not. I they wish that there stores, was. I don't think. What I wanted for a long time was for us to see if we could get them to send one to Fat Fancy um, so that they could have, like, a sale thing in there so that people could, like, test them out, basically. But, um, yeah, no. I like to stop ramen to make it a little softer. Ours has our, we have, like, the Big Fig branded, like, mattress, mattress topper protector. that also, mattress protector that also has, like, a puffy top that's really good. Listen. We could have, I wish we could have a little jumping on the bed party. It'd be so cutesy. They have a guarantee so that after an X amount of nights, you can send it back. That does sound like them. Yeah. I love the street sweeper. Bob's not allowed on the bed. 
No, God, no. So he doesn't have an opinion. Mm -mm. Oh, 120 night sleep trial. Now, I will say, I don't know how you would mail it back. I don't either. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. All right, we have to go to urgent care for my sweet, sweet wife. Yeah, I guess, I hold on, to. let me check and make sure we've been streaming for enough time. So we've got like 45 seconds. I don't want to, but I do think that I should. They send people to pick it up? Yo, that's great. Yeah, we're gonna go and get Morgan a uh, COVID test and some other tests. Should be fun and cute and fresh. <clears throat> I don't understand. Your body just, like, really loves to get a cough. Yeah. That was true. I'm sorry that you're double upon poor. You'll keep getting them. I'm glad, honestly, that we used that as a thing so that everybody could use theirs because I was like, the double upon economy. It's growing. It's growing. It's going to crash. There's nothing to spend it on. And now we're in a double upon recession. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Seven has so many, though, so that makes sense. Yeah. Seven has the most of probably anyone. Yeah, that makes sense. Tax the one percent. Okay, we love y'all. This has been such a fun stream. Oh, oh, some things to know. Jeeper seven. That's absurd. Eat the rich. Seven. Holy shit. Eat the rich. Rich. The rich is seven. Um. Uh. Thursday. My mom and I will be streaming World of Warcraft. Yeah, tomorrow's a normal stream. Tomorrow, regular stream. Thursday. Me and mom will be streaming World of Warcraft for our, like, Mother's Day stream is kind of, like, the theme of it because my mom is obsessed with World of Warcraft and I haven't played since I was, like, 12. So we got all the stuff set up yesterday to do it, which is very cute and fun. And then on Monday, um, we normally don't have stream, but we are actually going to have one and it's going to be with my brother Nick, mm -hmm. which will be fun and fresh. I'm sure we'll try to do something unhinged similar to this kind of energy. I have no idea. I don't know what it'll be. Um, but he is here to promote his band, Skeleton Boy. So that'll be fun. Okay. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Love y'all. Friday, normal, except that it's sponsored Friday. Sponsored Friday. Yes. Thursday, me and mom hanging out. Okay, sorry. No Goodbye. stream Saturday. No stream Saturday. Because we'll be out of town. Because we will be gone. Sorry. For the I'm, day. I'm sorry to scare you.